Uh, hi, everyone. I thought I'd just play a game of um, Hockey Blast Express. I had uh, some requests on uh, my channel, so I thought I'd play another game. Just played a couple of games. Uh, first game was kind of neat. It was fun. There was a fight. JT Miller and uh, Joss Morrissey fought in the first game. And second game, another rare occurrence. Whenever the one team is up by one goal and you've played all 12 time sequences, you go to um, an empty net mini chart. And I went to the mini chart. The Blues scored with an empty net to tie the game. And then in overtime, the same player, Tori Krug, scored. So the Blues win it in overtime. It was super fun. Um, even though my Canucks lost, it, it, was, it was a blast. Uh, so the next game is Vancouver is in Edmonton to play the Oilers. The only thing I really checked for real lineups is the goalies. So Colin Delia did start for Vancouver. Stuart Skinner did start for Edmonton. So we'll just get started on uh, how to play Hockey Blast. So you roll your dice. And if it's a red one, you're going to go to a visitor scoring chance. If it's a red six, you're going to go to a home scoring chance. If it's a three, you're going to check for a penalty. Now, one thing I keep forgetting to do is if it's a red three and two sixes, it's a power play goal. So if you catch me missing that, uh, please put a comment in the comment box. I'm going to try and catch it. So what you do is when you roll, you have one die that's going to determine where you're going to go, which chart to use. And then you have a couple of dice that go to each spot. So we're going to do a quality check. Now, I roll an extra die. Just save a little bit of time on the video. So six is going to be a star. Or you can also check it this way on your cards. One, two, three, four, five, six. So Pedersen has a star and so does McDavid. So nothing happens in that time sequence. So we're going to rotate both players. And we go on to the next time sequence. And there's 12 time sequences, four per period. And we have a four, we're gonna check white one and black, sorry, white two and a black one. And we're checking for four, which is a hit quality. Besser does not have it. Dry saddle does not have it. So again, nothing going on early in this hockey game. Uh, next roll. Uh, we have a four. That means it's gonna be a quality check for player number three and player number one. The quality we're looking for is six, which is star. Kane is not a star. Sheldon Dries is not a star. So a tight checking first period. Nothing really going on yet. Not a lot of goals. Vancouver and Edmonton. And we're going to roll. We're going to have a penalty check. So penalty check three for Miller, four for Nurse. Nurse is a one. Miller is a point five. So it's going to be a power play chance for Vancouver. So we're going to roll on Skinner's card. One to two, he makes a save. And six is going to be a goal. So Vancouver is going to score a power play goal. And you're going to go to the score finder chart to see who actually scored it. So I will roll off this score finder chart. And I roll the six. Be player with the best shot rating. So player with the best shot rating is going to be Kuzmenko so Kuzmenko is going to score the goal uh, I'm just gonna I do assist but I'm going to skip it for this game um, just to shorten the video up a little bit uh, these are the players we used for to determine the play so they get rotated uh, end of the period again we have another penalty check it's going to be four for Vancouver if it's a six it's your choice so I'm going to try and find a zero. We don't have any. So I'm going to go to the next best thing. I'm going to use Fogel. So he's got the lowest penalty rating, but he doesn't have any traits on his card. So probably the best one to burn or turn over. Uh, so I can keep these guys out. So Hughes is a 0.5. Fogel is a 0.5. So it's even. And you put down no goal in the same goal sequence. So whenever there's a goal, you got to keep playing in that time sequence until there's no goal. So we put it there. End of the first period, a bit of a surprising period. The Vancouver Canucks leading the Edmonton Oilers 1-0. Vancouver coming off that devastating loss to St. Louis where Blues scored an empty net goal. We're going to check. 
two against one. The trait is number two, which is skill. Dry settle has it. Mikheyev has it. Nothing happens early in the period. We're going to rotate Mikheyev and rotate Dry settle. As I said, my win loss records for play in real life is almost identical. It's it's amazing how Keith can design games that are so realistic. Uh, Kuzmenko and Kulak. The trait we're looking for is number five, which is smart. They both have it, so nothing happens, and we will rotate those two players. Uh, going on to the next roll. And we have a two, so we're going to check player number two and player number six, so I check anybody I want. And again, they should have speed and skill just to neutralize uh, Garland. And I think I'm going to use, um, let's see here. I'll use Zach Kaiman, I guess. So the trait we're going to check for is five, five, which is smart. And Hyman does have smart, so it's going to be a scoring chance for Edmonton. Uh, Colin Delia is going to stop on one, two. He's got a um, three as a decider die. And it's a one. He makes the stop. Oh, my. Zach Hyman gets robbed by... Colin Delta, he actually played really well for Vancouver in a few games last year. So maybe not that surprising. We've got a five we're going to check for player number four, player number three. The trait we're looking for is two, which is skill. Hopkins has it, so does Philip Peronic. That is the end of the second period, a tight checking, one nothing game. If the teams were to play, that's probably what Vancouver would want to do. Um... But with their goaltending, you know, it's just a matter of time before the Oilers score. We're going to one, which is a visitor scoring chance. So Vancouver's going to have a chance. Going to go to the visitor scoring chance chart. We're looking for a 66. And a 66 on a visitor scoring chance says choice home player scores. So the Oilers score on a Vancouver scoring chance. Oh, my um let's see who got the goal we roll the dice number four third best shot rating uh so we have one two it's going to be between yamamoto and at home so i'll just bring in my decider die uh so jack queen king will be yamamoto anything else is going to be at home so at home is going to get credit for the goal the Edmonton Oilers tie it. Now, since I didn't use any cards, I don't believe you flip over any players. You only on the red one, red six, you're going to flip the one player of the card that you use. Anything else, you flip two players. So I'm hoping I'm interpreting it there, that correctly. So you have a red two. We're going to a white two and a black, sorry, white four and a black two. And we're checking for six, which is star. Bear is not a star. Yamamoto is not a star. So again, the time sequence where the goal was is what we check off. We rotate Bear and we rotate Yamamoto. It is 1-1 one, one hockey game. You just got the feeling the Oilers are going to score here. Vancouver had bad luck in the last game. We got a five. We've got a two and a five. Three, four, five, and we're looking for the trait is going to be skill. Ekholm has it, and oh, so does Brock Besser. So halfway through the third, still 1-1 one, one, Edmonton, Vancouver. Going to the next roll, and it's going to be another skill check. We've got a four up here, a five down below. The skill we're looking for is skill. Number two, Bouchard has it. Quinn Hughes has it. So, again, nothing going on. We've got to rotate Quinn Hughes. Too bad for Vancouver. Evan Bouchard gets rotated for the Edmonton Oilers. And we're down to the last time sequence of the game. It is going to be a visitor scoring chance. 53. Can Vancouver pull this out the last minute? Home player in three stops the goal with a quality roll or a defensive block. He does not have the block. The quality roll is a four, which is a hit. Bukestad has a hit. He stops it. Uh, there is only the one goal. We're going to overtime. And the way we played overtime at the uh, conference is just to keep going until somebody scored. 
So that is what we're going to do. Um, so this game is going to overtime. Vancouver and Edmonton. We're going to go to a penalty check. Three and one. Ooh, not good when you look at Evander Kane. Uh, Patterson is a zero. Kane is a 1.5. So it's going to be a scoring chance for Vancouver. Roll the two. Skinner, one, two, makes a save. So no chance there for the Vancouver Canucks. Oh, that would have been key. Patterson's card got used. Nothing happens. It's still 1-1 one, one in overtime. This time we're going to a visitor scoring chance. It's a red one. Reading at 1-6-16. You always read the black die first. Home goalie must make a shot save, otherwise a goal. So Stuart Skinner, shot save, one, two, three. And we've got to go to the decider die since it is a four. So on this decider die, if it is a Jack Queen King, he makes the save. The game is tied. Anything else, it's going to be a Vancouver goal. Does he make the save? He does make the save. Stuart Skinner <laughs> makes the stop. Oh, my. Pretty exciting game. Uh, next one. Oh, we have a home scoring chance. Here comes the Oilers. It is going to be a 16 for Edmonton. Home scoring chance, 16 reads. Visitor goalie must make a shot save, otherwise a goal. So Delia is 1-4 to four making a shot save. Oh, but the die roll is a 5. The Edmonton Oilers will score in overtime. Let's see who gets this goal. Oh, man, that was, that was fun. Uh, number seven, the player with the best shot rating, putting it in is going to be Nick Bukestad, who made the good defensive stop earlier. And he is going to get the overtime winner for the Oilers and the Edmonton Oilers. They win this one 2-1 to one in overtime. So that, uh, my friends, is Hockey Blast Express. It comes out in... Uh, late November by Play Games. Super fun. It plays in about 5-10 minutes. Um, that's it for now. Talk to you later, guys.